Oh, what's up guys and welcome back to another mission editor tutorial within DCS. Okay then, so what we're going to look at this time is there are ways to get sound files to play as radio frequencies within the game or probably word it better to play on given radio frequencies. So we're going to look at that. So all I've done so far is I've just placed an aircraft down, a player aircraft on the map. Okay, from there all I'm going to do is I'm going to place a trigger zone of where I want the uh, sort of radio message to be situated. I'm just going to call that radio. From there, I'm going to go into my triggers and I'm going to start a one time trigger. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it radio again and I'm going to begin a uh, action. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for radio transmission. From there, I'm going to go into my file and I'm going to open the file manager. I'm going to find the file type that I want to use. So, for this, I've just downloaded a bit of scanner audio from uh, sort of a naval radio station. Okay, from there, what we want to do is make sure that it's in one of two of the following um, sound files either OGG or WAVE and basically they're what, what you need to use. If for any reason you've got a sound file that isn't in one of those two um, formats, what you can do is download Audacity. It's a free uh, audio program, and really, really simply, you can then export whatever audio clip you've got to one of those two uh, file types. That's all I've done today. Okay, then zone. So what zone is, it's just a list of all your trigger zones, and we want to make sure it plays in the corresponding trigger zone that we obviously want the sound file to be played in. So that's the one that we made earlier called radio. Modulation, so that's AM or FM, down to the frequency types you want it to play on. I'm going to set it as AM. And loop means basically when it reaches the end of the clip, it will then restart. It will just be an endless loop on that frequency, which is what I'd like. And from there, the frequency that you want it to play on, set it as whatever you want. The power, higher or lower, depends on you know, basically the range of that audio clip reaching. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to leave as is. And start delay is a delay from the audio clip um, starting from you going on the frequency. Okay then, so that is all but set up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the game and I'm just going to set on that frequency. Okay, so let's go into that now. Okay, so what do I use this for? So normally what I do is just a little bit of ambient um, sort of voice clips in the back, particularly when I'm playing single player, I'll just put it onto a uh, radio frequency and I'll just plug into that in flight and I can just listen to some sort of real world sound in the background, which is quite nice. Or if you wanted to, if you're creating your own missions, what you could always do is you can go as far as creating your own audio clips in one of the two formats and you can throw that into your mission for um, added voice clips for if you want to do like a human JTAC scenario or whatever it might be. You can then record the voice clips and get them into the game like that and use the uh, frequency that you want to uh, utilise. Just one or two uses that you can actually uh, use this for. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my frequency, 124, I'm going to press enter. Point to note, this may take a couple of seconds to actually load up and start playing. It all depends really on the, the large file size that you're using. If you're using a really large audio clip like I am, then it can take, you know, 10, 20 seconds or whatever to start playing. Um, it can even be a little bit longer than that, but all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wait for it and it's going to start. You normally get better results from a shorter audio clip. Just a, a point to note to take away. And there we go. There's our audio plan now. And as you see, you can add some real sort of immersion and ambience into your flying. More particularly if you're on single player, but it can be utilised really well in a multiplayer environment once more. Okay, so uh, I hope that's been helpful, guys. And once again, if that has helped you at any point and it's given you something that you want to go into the mission editor and utilise in your missions, please give me a like and subscribe to uh, help grow the channel. And finally, as always guys, stay safe.